Good morning, this is Pramod Jaiswal from English Chronicles. Today I am going to take up another question from MEG1, The Prelude by William Wordsworth. An important question which came in December 21. Discuss the prelude as an autobiographical poem. Though it is a complete poem, Wordsworth thought that it was only a prelude to a much longer poem, The Recluse, which he could never finish. The poet worked on it at intervals for more than 40 years. The 1850 prelude is the outcome of three large and many minor revisions. The poem was finally printed just 10 weeks after Wordsworth's death. In 1805, the prelude has 13 books, whereas the final version has 14. So, <clears throat> the first book was the introduction, childhood and school time, and the last book of the conclusion which comes just after the book on imagination. The subtitle of the prelude, Growth of a Poet's Mind, is also a very significant. Romanticism in Europe was as much varied thing, but one thing was common in all literatures of the time, psychological explorations. All romantic writers believed that the human mind was the center of the divine scheme, the arena of the struggle of evil and good. And the poet has a richer mind, more sensitive in its creativity, so the study of the growth of a poet's mind is not only a thrill, but also a religious pursuit, a study in Godhead. The human mind is the arena of all tragedy and comedy, from childhood to adulthood. This mind, through its experiences and responses, achieves maturity and a shape and a dimension, sensitivity of feeling. Man's moral being depends on how the mind has worked. The poet remembers past incidents and their impact on his mind. Stephen Gill says, memory is both the agent and the power which haunt the adult with redemptive power. The prelude is about the poem poet himself, so it is autobiographical. It is psychological as it is about the nature and function of the human mind. It is spiritual as it is about the infinite power and harmony of nature. It is intellectual as it is an attempt to define the role and potentiality of imagination. It is didactic as it gives certain definite moral conclusion. The prelude is a poem of self-conscious and search for identity written at a time when entire Europe was looking for a stable identity, a solid value system. The world of the prelude is not just the world of the mind communicating with the nature. It is also the world of the university, the metropolis and the arena of power and politics. Wordsworth absorbed all new ideas and experiences and the poem became a solid body of poetic work that has embodied the history of humanity standing on the crossword of selfishness and humanism, science and imagination, adventure and utilitarianism, materialism and spiritualism. The prelude is humanity's last and most fervent attempt 
to discover pure joy in life. The poem is an autobiography. The poem is an <coughs> is an account of the growth of the poet's mind up to the point at which he conceives conceived Wordsworth who began the prelude was not the Wordsworth who finished it there was a change the first two parts deal with his childhood and boyhood experiences and in the consequent parts the growth of the mind is emphasized upon the experience of his early life had remained stored in his mind and he went to france and england heard with pain the still sad music of humanity came back to england and his friends realized the most fundamental truths of life and formulated his philosophy of nature this is an another content which you might think of it as a concise one so i am giving you another one in continuation so out of graphical element wordsworth himself declared to his family and friends as the poem on his own early life or the poem on the growth of his mind wordsworth had in his mind the writing of a long philosophical poem the autobiographical poem the prelude was meant to be a preface of that poem but the philosophical poem was never completed whereas the preface ended in a huge 15 book epic the composition in fact he wanted to convey to the reader that his philosophy was not just a concept but a system of faith that came out of simple incidents of life so but the philosophical poem never came to its full being and the autobiographical prelude became more philosophical than an autobiographical as a chronological nar- narrative the prelude is a record of wordsworth life it is about the growth of a poet's mind which becomes fully mature to make feeling the subject matter of a philosophical poem the prelude is a biography of the soul the story of the awareness of the revelation of the power of human mind which can act in human harmony with nature and get nourishment thereby he wrote both prose and lyric poetry at the time each casting its influence on the other he remembers the spots of time small happenings serving as a key of key opening the door of the vast hall of realization wisdom and joy incidents remembered and half remembered shaped his mind so perfectly that it that he could tell the world what is right and what is wrong <clears throat> and make it see the light that never was worn sea or land a poet's poetic life is the story of the development of his imaginative perception of man in relation to the other outer experiences nourish the inner resolution realization it is futile to seek biography in history in his poetry it is worthwhile to seek the dimension and depth of his poetry through the aid of biography so if you 
लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर इट अमंग योर फ्रेंड्स एंड डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल सो दैट टाइम टू टाइम यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग और द अदर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग वंस अगेन माई वीडियो हैव अ नाइस टाइम